Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This is going to be very simple how to fly a rocket. It's not how to build a rocket, but simply how to fly a rocket. This is the basic, basic, most simplest rocket I could think of. It has everything. It's got the SRBs. It's got the whatever. It's got the second stage. It's got the doohickeys. Okay, so let's get right into it. How to fly a rocket 101. First, hit T key. Get your SAS going. That uh, sort of stabilizes your craft. Here's a secret I'll teach you. You don't want to go full throttle right off the bat. Yes, some rockets do go full throttle when they're ignited, but a lot of times rockets when they're ignited are only about maybe half throttle, and then they throttle up as they launch off the launch pad. I can think of several reasons why this is the case maybe because you don't want to it's like starting up your car engine with your foot on the gas pedal to the floor maybe not a great idea <laughs> so i'm going to put it on about one third power that's fine now i know that some people when they want to launch the rocket they use the wasd keys they literally finger the wasd keys so hard that whoa that could be taken out of context they hit these buttons uh, so many times that you're losing fuel every time you're doing a course correction yes it's fun so you know what play the game you want to play play the game you how you want to play it it is your game you go ahead and you just get on it you do what you want damn it but if you're looking for some efficiency when it comes to fuel there are two ways of doing this in real life rockets do something called a gravity turn which means the nose slowly gently gets pointed down from gravity pulling on the rocket this doesn't waste any fuel there's no whole lot of course correction going on it's just a natural slope over kind of thing you know i'm not a scientist so i don't know what the technical term for it but anyway so what we're going to do to do is a simple gravity turn now this rocket's extremely light so we're gonna have to initiate our gravity turn very early in Kerbal Space Program some of you may be asking why this orange tank connected to the bottom of this thing well that's because if you want to throttle up slowly before you engage the solid boosters and disengage the clamps you don't want it to use up your fuel right so you grab the fuel from here for big rockets it's really nice big rockets anyway I used to do it a lot in solar nations but I'm getting off track here all right so finally after my yapping I can go ahead and show you how to launch a serum this serum simple simple rocket okay gravity turn <clears throat> now there's two ways of gravity turn I forgot to mention that one way is to figure out the exact moment and when you start your gravity turn and it works every time another way is if you don't know exactly when to turn you can use throttle so if you're going too far too fast throttle down until your nose points starts pointing down some more and then throttle up again so we're going to go for the throttle up throttle down since this is the first time i've done this with this rocket okay here we go uh bring it down one power and start yeah okay bring it up some more and then engage Ooh, pretty Let's do it about 40 meters per second. Okay, there it is. Let's go down, tilt down to about 80 degrees. And then prograde. Here we go. All right, so I'll boost, booster, booster, booster's done. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. Looking pretty good here. I'm gonna throttle down just a pinch. Try to let the nose get down a little bit more. If you want to think of this, uh, this, this atmospheric calculator, whatever the hell it is, think of it as a stretched out NAS ball. NAS ball, what the hell? Nav ball. You want to be somewhat close to like, you know, 10 degrees, if not, if not zero degrees by the time you reach this part right here. When you reach this part right here, you want to be at least 45 degrees. And when you reach this part right here, you want to still be in your about 80 to 70 degrees, 60 degrees when it comes to nose tilt. Okay. Second stage almost spent. There she goes. Goodbye. Second stage and hello. Last stage. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and throttle down. So we want, we want to kind of slow down a little bit. So this entire time, I have not hit the WASD keys at all. You don't need to. This is a little bit more fuel efficient. All right, notice our time to Apple Asses. Apple Apps. Apple Asses. What? Apple Apsis is a uh, countdown. The numbers are going down pretty fast. We're already at 16,000 meters per second and slowly climbing. Trying to keep the Apple Apsis height a little low. I don't mind if I go into the 80,000 meters. That's fine, I guess. All right, I'm going to start speeding up. Oh, 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 bring it back down. Our time to apple, apple apsis kind of went up there. So let's bring it back down. If I was to throttle up all the way, it, it grows. So let's go back, throttle down. Try to get as close to zero as you possibly can when it comes to to your time to apple apsis. 
If you don't have Kerbal Engineering, <clears throat> or in Kerbal Engineer, Kerbal, Kerbal Engineer, is it? Ah, son of a gun, I forgot. You can always go to your map mode and do this. I used to do that a lot back in the day. Okay, it looks like our periapsis height is climbing drastically now. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, and boom, we're actually in orbit right now. That's pretty darn close. Okay, so we've got uh, about 13,000 meters per second delta V. It's a one-way ticket to the moon. <laughs> So getting back to Kerbin is pretty simple. You just uh, turn around, burn the opposite direction a little bit till your periapsis is uh, somewhat low, like 50 maybe, 55 is fine. Okay, then you just happily detach. There she goes, and let's speed up time. So anyway, that's basically how you fly a rocket. Very simple, very efficient, it works every time. You don't have to punch the WASD keys the entire way up. Very simple, okay? All right, well, this is basically, uh, this is it. This is the, the fastest, this is the fastest video I've ever made. Hmm, I wonder if I can make anything else this fast. Anyway, all right, love you all, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. If I were you and have made it this far into the video, I would definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. Oh yes, yes, it's very pretty. Oh yes, look at it, look at it. Look into its eyes, it is calling you.